completely fumbled it. I said it in a status on Twitter earlier. It hurts because Nintendo goes through all this effort to create the Smash Brothers of our dreams. They went 100% ham on everything, except the online. This game could be a gateway if you could just go online and play competitive smoothly, man. I mean, you can do it with so many other um, systems out there. And I know it's Nintendo. I guess we should be used to it by now. But that's just crazy to me. It's 2018. Online has been a robust, carved out feature of gaming since when? 2008? I mean, I don't know how they haven't gotten on board with the shit by now, man. I mean, it's it's been years. It, it's kind of like disheartening in a sense, too. Maybe the next console, they'll have an online ecosystem completely flushed out and reliable because they have an amazing game on their hand. That's the thing that makes it stupid. They have an incredible, iconic, fucking culture changing game the one thing preventing smash brothers from transforming gaming culture is nintendo that's the stupidest shit but i mean hey we can say things like that about everybody oh the one thing keeping etika from becoming big is him streaming more often you know people will do what they want to do you can't help it man i mean as long as they're doing stuff we love I still love Nintendo. They frustrate the fuck out of me. I'm sure I frustrate the fuck out of you, but y'all still love me. <laughs> and I'm still gonna support them. They make great products and they have great intentions. They're just dumb about how they approach certain things, you know? But hey, we still love them, so we'll deal with them. Uh, but God damn it, Nintendo. Y'all fumbled again. Y'all fumbled again. Anyways, uh, let's keep it moving, man. We have still more shit to watch, man. As a matter of fact, we have more donations coming through in this bitch. Thank you very, very much, man, to um, this individual. Another one of these bitches. Well, a minimal of 50. The last thing I expected to see so many of y'all niggas come through. Got a green ace that came through with 50 dollars, man. Thank you very much, bro. That's one of my homeboys right there. He says, I like to review Tech USA's videos on the wife beater. She was throwing shit at him too. So glad that it was caught on stream. So the uh wait, she was throwing shit at him too. So glad that it was caught on stream so this kids can get help. Anyways, dude, have a happy holidays. They to be honest with you, it seems like their relationship it just he, nobody should be hitting anybody, but him going out of his way to hit her and hurting him like bro yeah the kids are the main fucking priority at this point man they both need fucking help i think but it's just fucked up because as a guy i don't give a fuck man i'm gonna say this right now and this might be a controversial point of view but i want you all to understand where i stand with this shit right now because i don't need anybody getting confused green thank you for bringing it up because i need to look as a man as a man, you are physically superior in terms of physical strength on usual basis than woman. Give me a second with this one, actually. I, I, I'm give, I have to mute it for a second. Thank you very, very much for this donation, but I cannot stop this chain of thought. I'll read it once I'm finished with this thought here. But as a man, naturally, normally speaking, I mean, not in all situations, but normally speaking, a dude's gonna be stronger than a girl. That means there's a disadvantage, there's a mismatch. You know why boxing matches don't put a 210 pound nigga against a 150 pound nigga? Why there's weight classes, nigga? The reason why is because it's fucking, it's fucking wrong, there's imbalance there. You don't fucking, and in general, you don't hit somebody. But the fact that you're hitting a woman in the first place is disgusting because it's like, first